dear friends in Jesus Christ, we know from our own experience that before any significant undertaking, we need to sit down and think through what, what, what will be required of us. Before we act, we need to reflect not just on our own, but with others. That is the message of the two small parables that Jesus speaks in today's Gospel reading. Before building a tower on his land, the, lo the landowner has first to sit down and work out the cost. Before marching to war, a king has to first sit down and work out whether he has the soldier necessary for victory. We need to reflect before we act and the more significant action or enterprise, the more we need to reflect in advance. Then having acted, we need to reflect further on how it went well. That interplay between reflection and action is very much part and parcel of our lives at every level, personal, local, national, and international. The enterprise that Jesus was referring in today's Gospel reading is that of becoming his disciple. He was talking to the great crowds who were accompanying. Jesus obviously wanted his disciples from, the, from that great crowd, but he also wanted people to know what was involved in becoming his disciples. It would require giving him a commitment that is even stronger than that the commitment we would naturally give to our families. That is what Jesus means by that language, which seems very strange to our ears about hating family members. It is a Semitic way of expressing preference. Jesus was saying, you are to prefer me to even the most significant people in your life. He was calling for a love that is due to God alone, a love with all one's heart, mind, soul, and strength. He goes on to say that if we are to love him even more than our own family, we are certainly to love him more than our own possessions. Attachment to him comes before attachment to our own family and attachment to our own possessions. So Jesus is saying to the people around him that in the light of what is involved, they need to sit down and reflect whether or not they really want to be his disciples. Becoming his disciple is not to be undertaken lightly. The message of the two parables is, don't start if cannot finish. Jesus wants disciple who will be faithful to him to the end, even though they may, that may mean taking the way of cross with him. The message of Jesus in today's gospel probably has more of a resonance in our own time at the beginning of the 21st century than it might have had 50 years ago. We live in a time when we need to make a deliberate and informed choices to be a follower of the Lord today. We are no longer being carried by a tide that is moving in the broad direction of the gospel that Jesus preached. Instead, there can be a great deal of pressure to take the path other than that one G G that Jesus is calling on us to take. Some of it subtle pressure and some of it it's not. In choosing to belong to that community of the Lord's disciple, we are more likely to find ourselves at odds with the family members and friends than we would have been the case in the past. Belonging to the family of the Lord disciple today requires more of a conscience decisions on our part. 
It requires a conscious effort to follow the Lord's promptings in today's culture. Each day, we find ourselves asking, what does it mean to be a disciple of the Lord in this present situation? In the language of today's first reading, we seek to know the intention of God's God to divine the will of the Lord, to discover what is in the heavens. This requires a conscience and deliberate effort on our part. Yet, we are not left to ourselves to be trying to discern what it means a disciple of the Lord today. When in the language of today's parables, we sit down and work out what is involved in the following Lord's way, we can be assured of the Lord's help. That first reading asks the questions, as for your intention, who could have learned it had you not granted wisdom and sent your Holy Spirit from above? Jesus journeys with us as God's wisdom, and both God the Father and Jesus his Son have sent the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of wisdom, into our own lives. The Lord who calls us to be his disciples in, in today's world also gives us the ability to live as his disciples. The Spirit is given to each one of, one of us personally, and the Spirit also comes to us in and through other members of the church. The difficult journey of disciples is always we travel together in the power of the Spirit. We need the Spirit present in each one of us if we are to be the Lord's faithful disciples today.